Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another haul. So this is going to be an Amazon haul and I have a few Walmart things and some stuff from Ross. I'm not sure if I'm going to throw those in with this one or do a separate one. <laughs> I'm trying to get all this done, y'all. I had so much to do this morning, like just around the house. Um, so I actually took like a vacation day to get all of this done, like all my chores and stuff that I needed to get done. And then I really <laughs> have been needing to film this. This is uh, November 19th and I have had this stuff since like October so it's a it's a big haul I feel like it's a big haul and I don't normally buy this much so I don't know what happened October November I just I don't know I went on a little shopping spree so I'm just taking y'all along with me so let's dive in <laughs> all those disclaimers just to let y'all know okay so I have this here it's kind of covering up where my my background y'all this is my Dollar Tree wallpaper if y'all didn't know <laughs> it's wrapping paper um and I didn't put it all the way down back there anyway <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be all over the place today so y'all know I love purple and I saw this backpack it was in my cart for months and I finally got it for myself um, when we go camping, I needed something a little bigger to put my stuff in, but not like a big luggage. Um, so that's what I bought it for. It is a rolling one. Some of the comments, um, uh, the reviews did say that like these wheels, oh, maybe they fixed it. Some of the comments said that like the wheels separate and then it doesn't roll very good, but these feel like they're really together. Like some people were saying that they had to glue them together because they were separate. So maybe they fixed the issue. I don't know, but it's just a little backpack. Um, to take along on little trips where I don't need a whole lot. It is Rockland is the brand. And the review said to keep this in your cart and watch the price. And the price all went way up and then was like fluctuating a lot. So just keep an eye out for that. This is marked um, MSRP $80. I would never pay $80 for a backpack. Y'all know me. Um, and so I ended up getting it for, I tried to put the prices here, y'all, but I'm sorry if it's like, um, oh my gosh, that's the one thing that I didn't. <laughs> I want to say I got it down to like 25. Like it was just going up and down. Like the price was just crazy all over the place, like 75, 80, like 60. It was, it moves a lot. So anyway, I did not pay 80 for it. Um, I want to say I got it down to like 25. 20, not that I got it down, but I waited until it was down. Anyway, sorry, that was a lot. I'm going to try to go faster, but I really like that. It's purple. It has a really big, I'm like, I'm done. No, I'm not. It has a really big interior, y'all. Like you can fit, oh, it's dark. You can't see, but you can fit like a lot of stuff in here. So there was a lot of really good reviews on this one. They have a lot of different colors, not just my favorite color purple, but anyway, there's that. Okay. Knocking stuff over. Okay, and these here in front of me, that's so funny that I didn't get the price. I'm going to try to link all this stuff if the links are still available um, in the description. And if I have time, I'll get to it. These socks I bought because I go hiking a lot and I wanted, I needed, I actually did need some socks. I was using some from like Dollar General and they were just not, not hacking it anymore for the hiking that I do. So anyway, this was a three pack of um, socks. They had a lot of good reviews. It is the feeder feeder brand and I really didn't need so many but they came in a three pack so I've opened these and I've been wearing them and I do like these um I wear them with my cowgirl boots and then also hiking and this three pack was um I know I wrote it down this one uh $15.99 for the three pack so not too bad um not my not my usual Dollar Tree venture, but I needed something better. Um, and then I also got another one to try. This is the Thorlo's. Both of these y'all had really good reviews. This was a two pack and it was um, $13.60. So this one was a little bit more, um, but a lot of people said that these lasted really long. I don't know why I wanted to try them both. I just wanted to try them both y'all. Like I said, I don't normally order like this okay so I just had a little shopping spree um <laughs> these are 
like neoprene, I think that's how you say it, like biking shorts kind of. Um, it's called like a wetsuit and I actually wore this to the beach and it was really comfortable. I really liked it. Um, it did help keep me warm. I think this um, was a little bit too big for me so like water did get in. Obviously they're shorts. Um, but I really liked it. It has a pocket in the back. I actually didn't use the pocket. I kind of forgot about it. If I'm going into the ocean, I don't want, I'm sure stuff would get, I don't know if it's supposed to be waterproof or not. But anyway, I got those and that was, they're called Citra Lady Women's Wetsuit. And this was $27.99. And the reason I tried these is because I had previously bought this. This one I've had for like over a year, but I figured I would throw it in because that one I just recently got. I use this when I jog, y'all. It's it's just like a sports bra. You can use it for the water. It says it's good for like, um, what is it? Water skiing and um, water activities. Okay, I never have trouble with the zipper. Why am I having trouble with the zipper? <laughs> That's a weird. Um, so it's just a, like a, a sports bra and it zips in the front. And I wear this when I go jogging because I was looking for something. It is so hard to find a sports bra. So anyway, I found this one and I really liked it. And I actually ordered this one. Um, their sizes were a little bit off. So yeah, I ordered this one like bigger. And then I ended up ordering, after a year, I ordered a second one like one size down. Um, and that top was also um, $27.99. And that's this, the... Citra Lady High Impact uh, Wetsuit Crop Tank Top is what it's called. And again, I'll try to put these links down if everything's still available. And if I get to it. <laughs> okay. So, a couple of these items are for Christmas gifts as well. Um, this one I haven't even opened yet, so I hope it's not broken. So, I'll take y'all along for the ride. Those other things, I had to like go and get them because I had already put them away. And I just wanted to share them with y'all. Uh, where's the opening? Okay. How do I open this? This stuff has been sitting here, like I said, y'all. It's been over a month now. And I'm like, I need to clean. I need to get this stuff put away. But I don't know. I like watching hauls. Y'all let me know. I like watching hauls and seeing people's um, ideas and what they have found, what works for them, what they enjoy so I like watching them so I figured why not make one <laughs> um this is the it's called Zach's Designs and let me pull it out here let me pull it out <laughs> it's so cute y'all It's a mug, y'all. What do you think? Okay, I got this as a gift. This is not for me. I just couldn't resist. <laughs> it says, do not eat the yellow snow. <laughs> oh, it says, by the way, do not eat the yellow snow. I, th that's a quote from the movie. Y'all let me know. Do you like the elf movie? I think it's okay, but uh, one of my friends just absolutely loves it. So I'm going to keep that in here. This was more expensive, but like I said, it was a gift. This was um, $24.99. So this was not a Dollar Tree mug, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I love Dollar Tree. But, you know, sometimes you got to splurge a little bit. So that's for a gift. And then this one also is a gift, I believe. Try not to show any, any addresses or anything. Okay. That's weird. It just came in one of these, like, bags. I hope it's not broken. Um, that's... The box is weird. I hope it's what I ordered. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. It's smaller than I thought. It, this does not... It looks like they reboxed this, y'all. That does not look like what it should be in, but I don't know. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? I did think it was bigger. But you know, that's what happens when you order on Amazon and you don't. 
You don't actually look at all the measurements and everything. Did I? Oh yeah. I have my Dollar Tree uh, ruler. I totally lost the word. Let's see. It is. It's about three and a half inches tall. Anyway, this is for a gift. I thought it was really cute. Um, it is. Oh wow. Yo, I paid like twenty two forty seven for this. <laughs> Yeah, I would not. If I had seen it in the store and it was that small, I really thought it was like this big. <laughs> so read the sizes, y'all. Read the sizes. But it's cute and my friend will love it. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I thought it was going to be bigger. No wonder I was surprised that it came in this little bag. I was like, that doesn't look right. Okay. Let me throw this over here. Oh my gosh, we're already like 10, min 10 minutes in. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, here's another one I haven't opened yet. So, it's like this big. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I get so excited. I don't know why. It's so funny because I get so excited about giving gifts, but I'm not that big of on, like, receiving gifts. Like, I don't get my feelings hurt if I don't get a gift or anything. Like... And I'm so hard to buy for for myself. Like, I always feel bad when people buy something and then I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I'm not really going to use this. And then I feel bad. So, I don't know. I love giving gifts, but I don't always expect gifts. Okay. So, these are Maxell. Is that how you say it? Maxell Alkaline Batteries LR1130. So, these are those little batteries that are hard to find for those crazy little objects um, like Dollar Tree stuff <laughs> that has these batteries. So I had bought, um, my son's like a little, it was so cute. It was in the summertime, like a little pineapple light that you could like turn on. And it was, it was real small, but it had these batteries and apparently, I don't know if I left it on or it was on in the store, but by the time I gave it to them, like it didn't work, <laughs> but I'm glad he told me. I was like, isn't it cute? And he's like, well, it doesn't work. What kind of batteries does it take? <laughs> so anyway, so I got these batteries um, they were only, they were only four sixty five, and they, and there's 10 of them in here, so that's not too bad. So, that's so they can light up their little, their little pineapple. Okay, so this is a linen file box with metal sliding rail. This was $17.99. Now, I did see this on... Don the Minimal Mom on her channel because I am even though it doesn't look like it because I'm surrounded by items right now I am trying to declutter and get some stuff out of my life as well so it seems kind of counterproductive but a lot of this is gifts and some stuff that I actually needed and yes just some stuff that I wanted so it is a file folder and it has, uh, I thought it had like a little pin. Oh yeah, it does. Like it has a little place here on the outside, which I don't really, you know, probably not going to really use that. But anyway, it's cute. It has a little place where you can put pins and then another little pocket. But basically, this is to like put my stuff in during the year. It has a little bottom. Like my mail is what I'm trying to say. Like my incoming papers, my mail that I need to organize that I'm not good at organizing. Um... Like, I make folders and stuff, and then I don't, like, follow through with getting it done. Anyway, so, this is, I guess this is for, like, because, yeah, it says sliding rail. Okay, well, I'm going to have to figure out how this works, because I thought it went this way. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how to put it together is what I'm trying to say. But, anyway, that's what it looks like, and it's supposed to be, like, a file folder and then you could just file the papers away the one that I have right now has that lid on it and then I don't know I find myself like piling stuff on top of it instead of actually putting it inside so I'm hoping like if there is no lid then I'll like make myself file it so that's the point of getting it let's see if it actually works if it helps me solve my dilemma okay so this is a storage container is what it's called um, it's called a storage basket, but I got it. I hope it's big enough. 
I got it because I heard my younger son saying that he was looking for like a laundry container. Uh, I don't know. What do y'all think? Is it big enough for a hamper? I think I did kind of look at the reviews. But look, it's so cute. Y'all, he's grown already, but we just have this thing about raccoons between him and I. <laughs> and so I saw it and I couldn't resist. I don't know if he's going to use it. I hope he does. It was only eleven twenty nine. That's really good. It's called Bahui, Bahui, B-O-O-H-I-T. Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be really cute. And then if he's, like, embarrassed or he doesn't want it in his room, he can always turn it backwards because there's nothing on the back. So nobody else has to know this. His mom got him a raccoon laundry basket. But anyway, I thought it was so cute. So that's going to be one of his Christmas presents. So cute. Okay, that's all that was in this box. So that's going over there. And, wow, I felt like there's, <coughs> I felt like there was going to be so much more. Okay, I have a bag there. Okay, we can do, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this. This box is really big. I don't know why it's so big, because the item that I bought is not, <laughs> not that big. Okay, it's sloshing around in there. So, let's open it and see. Um... Dun, 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 dun. This is like a huge box. I could have opened it first, but you know, I just thought it would be exciting. Okay, yeah, it's a box within a box. That's why. Okay. <laughs> so, this is a folding table. It's called Multifunctioning Folding Table by Saji. S-A-A-I-J-I. -I. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I've been wanting to use this and I don't know why I didn't open it. Because I was going to do it on the haul, that's why. But I was like, oh, I'm just going to wait. And then the box was so huge, I was like, am I going to have to like, put something together? I didn't think it had to be put together, but whoa. Okay, it's opening this way. Let's see. All that drama. <laughs> okay, so let's take these little things off here. So this is for my laptop, so I'm hoping this works out. I have something that I use right now, but um, it doesn't like angle. This one's supposed to angle down. Great, I can't even figure out how to, okay, there we go. Uh, no, still not opening. <laughs> okay, well the legs fold down when I figure it out. And then the legs also adjust like up and down. So I thought this would be really good. Um, I can't get it to open y'all. But you get the idea. It's a folding table. I wish I could figure, figure it out. I mean, it seems like... <laughs> I don't know why. That's hilarious. It should not be that hard. Um... One user manual and a thanks card. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out, I guess, but I'll let you know how it is. Okay, I'm just trying to put this back up out of the way. Uh, there's the picture on the back, just in case. So, yeah, it folds, like, um, or it rotates. Okay, Whew. that was kind of tiring. Okay. Uh, I have a bag of stuff here. Um, Okay, this is a K 
cap rack and I bought this to go in my closet it says it holds 18 caps I don't have that many caps I have like maybe four or five and then I have like some sun hats and so I'm hoping this will work it had a lot of good reviews and this was um what is it uh da, 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 da. okay I know I wrote it down here uh, oh that um laptop tray that I bought was $42.89 so it was kind of expensive but I mean I'm on the laptop a lot so hopefully it will be worth it um oh here it is this was $10.95 but you get two so I don't know if I'm going to use both or give one to one of my sons um but yeah it was $10.95 for the two and I need some organization in my life y'all so we'll see how that goes um oh I don't think I wrote down the price of this this is the lipstick that I use and I really like this color is it gonna focus um it is Revlon color stay Revlon color stay over time 16 hours this is um the color is 420 enduring iris so I really like this one. I wear it a lot. It's the one I'm wearing now. I don't know if this is the right color. I couldn't find this color anymore, and so I found it on Amazon, and I bought it. I hope it's okay. These are, like, anywhere from, like, 8 to 11 bucks, I think. So, I don't know. We'll see. But I like that it has... So, it has the lipstick down here, and you put it on. You wait, like, five minutes, and then you put the gloss, which is up here. And I don't know. I like it. What do you think? I'm not a makeup person, y'all. I'm very simple. I wear the same thing all the time, and then they stop making the color that I wear, and then I get upset because I'm like, this is already hard enough. <laughs> okay, these are my favorite pins. Uh, if you watch my decluttering, decluttering video, you saw me talk about these. So when I find them, I stock up on them because it's pretty much the only pin that I can write with. I like the way that it flows. I don't know. It makes a difference, and my hand doesn't hurt when I use it. It's the G2 Pilot fine blue ink it's the fine not the extra fine because I bought a box of the extra fine thinking it was these and it wasn't and I just couldn't write with them I don't know it's weird y'all I know it's weird so I had to give those to my son <coughs> but I bought three of these um because I hate when I can't find them um and those are they're like 680 like 680 they're 680 um, on Amazon for five of them. So they're a little over a dollar a pin. So they're expensive, but I don't know. For me, they're worth it. It's one thing that I do spend. Um, so I bought these face masks. I had bought one before and I really liked it. Um, they're $5.27. They're sometimes a little bit more, but I got them for $5.27. And I guess I can show you. I don't know. Are y'all over face masks? I still wear mine when I'm out and about because I just feel like it's, you know, you got to at least do your part, I feel. Um, so, I just feel like these are really well made. They have the metal, uh, the metal bar, is that what you call it? I don't know so that it fits and then they are adjustable so if you have a larger face or a smaller face they're going to adjust to your face and I don't know I just really like them I'm, I think they're comfortable so I bought two more you pinch it down so there's no germs getting in it stays pretty snug to the face there's a tiny bit but um, I don't know I really like them it is what it is and they do have the pocket here for the filter and they do come with the filters as well so I know there's cheaper ones out there but I want mine to be comfortable and not moving around so that it's doing its job because if you're constantly touching it and moving it around it's not going to do the job so there you go it is what it is okay and a couple more little things here. Okay. So this. I 
had one of these a long time ago and I really liked it and I gave it to someone um, to borrow and I never saw it again. So I've been wanting one for years and I finally bought myself one. They are kind of pricey. Um, I kept hoping I would find one. I think the first one I got, either someone gave it to me or I got it at a yard sale. It's called the Original Clinging Cross by Not So Plain Jane. It was $22.50, but like I said, I've been wanting it for a long time. And it's just a little cross. And it just fits so perfectly in your hand. And so I just use it, um, I've used it a couple of times already. I just use it when, you know, just wanting to pray, to feel some peace. And I know peace comes from God, but it's just something tangible that you can hold on to. Um, I had this one that someone had given me, but it's just not the same. You can still hold it, but I don't know. Some I think somebody came up with this, like they made the crossing clay and then they actually like held it. And so it has like your fingerprint, like, I don't know. I can't explain it. <laughs> It just fits like so perfectly in your hand and it just feels really comforting. So obviously I know there's no power or anything in this. It's just, it's just a comforting little item. Um, and sometimes I just hold it like at night when I'm going to sleep uh, or when I'm praying and it just feels good. I don't know. I can't explain it. So again, it's called the Original Clinging Cross by Not So Plain Jane. And it comes like this in this little box. Um, so, yeah. And I will probably gift this to someone or re-gift it or um, donate it for someone else to find. And these retractable badge holder ID card. Mine looks so old and so gross. And so I was looking for one um, for a while like over a year like I said y'all I normally do not just go crazy ordering I don't know what happened lately but it's stuff that I've been needing and wanting um this was $6.99 but it does come with two it had a lot of really good reviews and it looks it says it's heavy duty it looks heavy duty uh why oh I was like why is it this on there <laughs> like what is happening is this the one did I put one down uh, oh yeah there's one in there I'm like what is going on okay so it's just a ID holder to hold your badge and I think it's oh my gosh I can't even get it open but yeah this part opens apparently <laughs> oh my gosh it like closes really so you put your badge in there obviously y'all know what this is but you know and then does it go this way or this way? This way. Clamp it on. This little piece goes through here. I don't know if y'all can see that. And then it snaps. And then there you go. So most of the reviews were good on this. It has a clip back here where you can clip it on your clothes. It also has the keychain. So we'll see. My other one lasted a really long time, but this part is just looking horrible. So, anyway, that's for that. That's that. I'm just sticking it all back in the box here so I don't misplace anything. Okay. And these are so cute, y'all. It's called a personal alarm. And it's this little kitty cat that you can hang on your keychain. Um... Or carry with your keys. Oh yeah, hang on your purse or on your keychain or on your backpack, wherever. But there's three in here. I wish it would have only came one, because for this three, it was I think like seventeen dollars. Um, where is it? Yeah, seventeen ninety nine for three. But you can give these out as gifts. Um, to friends. Why can I not open this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is this so difficult? Okay. Jeez. Look how cute that is. So it has the little clip. You can clip it onto a purse, a backpack. Um, you could put it through here on your keys, on your keychain. Um, and what it is, is it has 
a light. Oh, you have to take the little battery thing out. So it has a little piece of paper that you have to take out for the battery to connect. And then it has a light, um, like if you're walking you know, by yourself at night or something. And then it also has an alarm. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this. <laughs> it's gonna be really loud. So if you're somewhere quiet or someone's asleep in the background, or if you don't wanna hear this, turn down your volume. I'm gonna count to like three, I'm gonna count down. Five, four, three, turn your volume down if you don't wanna hear it. Two, one, cause it's gonna be really loud and then I'm gonna have to plug it back in. You all ready? It's really loud, okay? But it's a safety alarm. It's supposed to be loud. You ready? Wow, it's really loud, y'all. Okay, so you can turn your volume back up now. Um, but, so I got this for when I jog, so I, um, like clamp it onto my tank top while I'm jogging, and so if I ever need it, hopefully, Jesus, I never need it, but better safe than sorry, right? So, um, you're just gonna yank it out if something's happening, and the alarm will hopefully scare off whoever is after you. So anyway, like I said, I wish I could have just got one, but it came in a three-pack. This other one is black. And the one that I have is, I think, of course, purple. I think it's like a light li lilac. But something good to know about, um, like I said, I'm going to try to leak all this stuff below. It's a lot of work, y'all. <laughs> if you think making YouTube videos is like quick and easy, it's not, okay? It's a lot more work than I thought. But I'm going to try for y'all. I'm going to try. Okay. So, <laughs> this video is like 30 minutes. Already. Um, so I have I have a few more things from Amazon and then <laughs> I'm trying to think how to do this y'all if I want to add the other stuff in there. Okay I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this yet but let's see. We'll see. So some of this stuff I have the bags here because I'm gonna try to show you the bathroom that I decorated. So I did my bathroom for fall. Like I said, I haven't done a lot of decorating y'all in like the past 10, 12 years. And so I'm just getting into the mood again and wanting to decorate. These are hand towels. This one is here. The other one's in my bathroom already. They were two for like $10.99. So they're like five bucks a piece, which is more than I would pay normally. But I was really wanting to do my bathroom in a specific way. So I did get them. Okay. And then these are also already in there, but I'm just going to show you. This is the bag that came in, and it was a four-piece bath towels. Utopia is the brand. Um, and these were $33.99. So these are 27 by 54 inches, and there was four of them. So I don't know. We can do the math, but less than $10 each. And the reason that I wanted to get them online was because they matched the, um, oh, that goes over there. They matched the floor mats. Um, I guess I don't have the bag for that one. So they matched the floor mats that I wanted, which were also, it's called Utopia Towels Cotton banded bath mat and they were two for $17.99 which I didn't need to but um the colors matched and I found them there and instead of having to go out and look that's where I got them and then I got a shower curtain which is I'm going to show you and then some decor these are um sunflowers so the shower curtain was $18.91 and the it was called Shower Curtain Wooden Band Sunflowers. And then, uh, where is it? Oh, the it's called Yay Home, I think. Yay Home Metal Sunflower Wall Decor. And they were nine inches and they were $13.99 for a set of three. So, my camera doesn't flip around, I've told y'all. But we're going to try to go and take a look at it so we will see how it works. Let's see if we can do this because I was not going to take it all down for y'all to see. 
it's nothing fancy, but it's just something that I wanted to do, and I think it came out really cute. Look how cute. So there's the three sunflowers up there. That was the three pack. And then the brown towel and the yellow towels. Now that little towel that's laying on top, um, I guess I can point you, I can see. That little towel was actually from Dollar General and it was only a dollar. That's more my taste, y'all. Dollar stuff is more my taste. And then the yellow towel was the two for 10 and then the brown towel was the three for 33. So I can't get the whole thing in there. And the shower curtain, how cute is that, y'all? And then yeah, I have another brown towel there. Isn't that so cute? And then the brown rug on the floor. Um, it, I, they're calling it bath mat, not bath rug, or bath rug, not bath mat. I don't know, but it's like the, it's just the towel material, and it's not, it doesn't have a rubber backing, so like when I'm done, I can just wash it just like a towel, and then put it away for next year. Isn't that cute? I wish I could get the whole thing, y'all, but that's it. That's my decor that I got, and I was so excited. It looks really pretty. It's just bright, and I come in here, and I really enjoy seeing it. So yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been wanting to share that with y'all and I keep putting it off and probably this is why because it took 36 minutes. Um, should I just keep going? I don't know how long it's going to be if I just keep going. Um, but I really don't want to have to do like another one. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of Walmart. Uh, we're going to keep going, y'all. We're going to keep going. Ah! But I'm probably going to hurry more through this because I don't know how much memory card I have and it's probably going to run out. So, that is so funny, y'all. <laughs> I couldn't find these in the store. So, I ordered it from Walmart and they sent it like in this whole box. All it is is a scrubber, y'all. It's just a scrubber, but I really like these. It's the Scotch Brat, Sc Scotch Bright Non Scratch Scrubber. I don't know why, but I think sponges are so gross. Well, I know why, because they do collect like germs and stuff, y'all. They do get gross. But these, they're just replaceable. So you fill this with your. Y'all have probably seen these, but I'm gonna tell you anyway in case you haven't. You fill this with your detergent, and then. Your detergent goes through the hole when you press this button. It kind of pushes some through there so then you have detergent and then you wash your dishes and your hands don't get all wet. And you fill up the detergent in there, or the dish soap, I guess. Um, and yeah, you just scrub. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love these. And the last one that I had lasted a really, really long time. And then one day I did notice, gross y'all, but it had a little mold growing in there. And I was like, ooh, gross, time to throw it away. So, but it lasted a really long time and I love it. And that's why I ordered another one because I couldn't find it in the store. I'm trying to keep this short and it's not working. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, I'm sorry. I just, I just can't stop. And then this little box, I think it only has like two items in here, but it's kind of big, but let's see. Okay. Oh my goodness, they have this cut away, away from your body, not towards your body. Okay. It's gonna feel so good to be able to put all this stuff up to y'all though. I've been procrastinating for a while. Okay, so there's two of these in here because I couldn't find them at the store near me, and apparently, yes, they will mail barbecue sauce to you. These are for a gift basket that I'm doing. If you haven't seen my gift basket videos, um, please go check them out. I think you will enjoy them. I enjoyed making them. They were fun. Look at my video list. And I do have like a playlist too. I have a playlist for hauls, a playlist for um, gift baskets or gift ideas. And then, y'all, I got a new toaster. Yes, I did. So, okay, I know I said I'm going to try to keep this short, y'all, but <laughs> I have to tell a story with everything, okay? I have a toaster right now, but it's pretty old. It's looking kind of eh, and 
I was already thinking about getting another one, and then now it seems like it is kind of going out on me, so I was like, okay, that's a sign. But, y'all, when I find something I like, I really don't want to shop around and find something else. I want to keep the same thing. And I looked everywhere, and I couldn't find it. I looked on Amazon. I looked on Walmart. I looked um, at the local grocery store. And I even went to their actual site, Hamilton Beach, because the one I have is at Hamilton Beach, and I really like it. But, like I said, it's kind of getting, like, um, up here in the top. Like, it's just getting gross. And I probably could clean it, but some of it, it's just old, y'all. But I could not find the one that I had. And I was really sad. But this is the closest one that I could find to it. So I'm going to try it out. And I hope it works so that I can donate my other one and not have to, like, take this one back because I just can't stand it. I know, it's just a toaster, y'all, but these things matter. And so also what I did, though is I bought a cover for my toaster and I have actually been using it. So this one's not gonna get gross as fast. So um, I highly recommend that if it's something you wanna try. I did get the toaster cover from Amazon, but it was a long time ago, so it's not in this haul. And I would go run and get it, but it's been a long time. So I will try to link it down since I'm mentioning it. I will try to find it and link it down. But anyway, this one has a retractable cord, which I thought was really cool. I've never had a toaster that did that. Um, this one had mixed reviews. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. So I don't know. I'm hoping it works. So there it is. Okay. That was it for Walmart. I'm going to throw in some Ross stuff real quick and see how much we can get done. Y'all, if this cuts off, it's because I didn't have enough memory and I'm not going to redo this. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So y'all know my favorite color already, right? Look at this pillow. I found it Ross. <laughs> I could not resist. I only bought one. It's for my bed. I already had it in place um, and I grabbed it so y'all could see it. But you know, Ross is hit or miss. But if you want to go look for it, I'm just letting you know what I like and where it was. It was at Ross. It was $7.99. So not too bad. Not like crazy expensive. And you can put it this way or this way. I think I had it this way because I had the tag like tucked back. Anyway, I think it's so pretty. Let me know what y'all think. Okay. And then... You know, my second favorite thing is hearts. And when I saw this, y'all, I, I could not believe it. I was trying to not spend more money. We actually went there to go Christmas shopping. <laughs> but I bought these two things for myself, y'all, because I could not pass it up. This was $5.99. I think it's so beautiful. I had it hanging on my bathroom door already. So I have been using it, but I brought it down to show y'all. I have no idea where you would find it again. Y'all know Ross is like Dollar Tree. You find something there, you might not ever see it again. Five hook over the door rack. Stylish organization for coats, hats, scarves, and all your accessories. You could put scarves through these. Oh my gosh. Y'all let me know. What do you think? I am in love with this. Like, there's not much things that like really grab me. And that was just amazing. Okay. So. So, like I said. I went Christmas shopping with my youngest. He will go shopping with me. He enjoys it. And um, usually he finds lots of stuff that he likes. So a lot of his gifts are not surprises. But we have so much fun making the memories and going shopping together. So it's worth it. And then he usually helps me pick out some stuff for his brother too. So this is a lot of Christmas stuff. So we found this for his brother's car. I'm hoping that it fits because I was trying to look up like sizes but my internet was not working in Ross so this was $7.99 luxury grip y'all let me know is that a good deal because I was trying to look it up while I was in there and I didn't get a chance to because my internet wasn't working okay and for my elf loving friend I hope you're not watching this <laughs> I found <laughs> this puzzle so the one that I made the family basket for, the elf basket and the Rudolph basket um, in my gift basket videos, this is for them. Um, this is for their family night. <laughs> I hope they do it. I think it'll be so much fun. It's a thousand pieces of elf, y'all. And this was, what, $9.99, y'all. It was a little much. I spent a lot on this elf stuff, but you know, when you love your friends and you see it, you just gotta grab it, you know, you just gotta just gotta or I did anyway um okay this was for me you go in there for Christmas and then you find stuff purple scissors 
I don't know why, but they were calling my name. Did I need more scissors and tape? Mm, probably not. I have these. These are from the Dollar Tree. These are the ones I use all the time, and they work fine. But I don't know. These were just so cute, y'all. So now I have two pair. That's not bad. I don't have like a million, but I couldn't pass it up. And then there's tape, you know, to wrap Christmas presents. <laughs> Are y'all having fun or am I boring you? I hope you're having fun. Um, so I we found these. My son picked these out. They are Fila brand and it is a mustache grooming scissors. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, I don't see a price. Oh, there it is. Ooh, it's a small price. They were $2.99. That is not bad, y'all. For Fila, he found a good deal. So that's one of his Christmas presents. And then... These are for my older son, um, for his kitchen, so he can have a set for kitchen. And y'all, this came with a knife sharpener. Um, this, these are only $3.99. Y'all let me know. I think that's really good for Farberware with the cover and the knife sharpener. I thought that was really good. So that's for my older son. And let me see. Okay, okay, so one more thing for me. <laughs> I could not pass this up either. It was calling my name. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. So cute. Look at this ornament. Look at this snowman. Yeah, you can even set it like out somewhere as decor. It's so cute. I could not pass that up. It was $2.50, but when you look at it, this quality is so much higher than like something you would find at the Dollar Tree. I mean, it's still not, it's still not high end, y'all, but it is beautiful to me. I thought it was so cute. I had to get it. I had to get it. So, there it is. Okay, and let me see. So a lot of this is just clothes. My youngest son picked this out. This was $12.99. Just a really nice dress shirt. Blue. It's like navy blue. Y'all can't, it looks black on the camera, but it's like navy blue. Really nice. And then this shirt as well for him. Mm, I don't see the price on this one. I really like this one. I really liked how it looked. It's a shirt, like a button-up shirt, but it also has a hoodie. It's just very unique. You find very unique stuff at Ross. So, sorry. I know y'all can't really see the whole thing, but... Um... And then these are just some sleep pants for my older son, so we picked those out together for him. These were $14.99, but they are super soft. I wish y'all could feel them. They're kind of like, I don't know, like silky soft? They're not fuzzy. But anyway, they're just long casual wear sleep pants, lounge pants. And I thought those were really just kind of unique. I like the colors on there. And then to go with those, we got, oh, maybe that was the price, to, I don't know, a price tag fell at $14.99. That was probably a shirt. I was like, where did that come from? <laughs> this is like a throwback. This was 10 bucks, but I thought it was cute, and I thought I kind of went with the sleep pants that I got. So, you know, Rugrats, um, what was his name? Raptar? What is his name? Y'all let me know. What is the, the, I think it's Raptor. I don't know. But anyway, I thought that was really cute. And that kind of goes, the, there's some red and some white, so I kind of thought it goes with that. And these are Reebok pants. Y'all, this is MSRP $70. I would not pay $70 for this, but they were $20 at Ross. So those are going to be for 
Oh yeah, these are for my older son. I was going to say they're for my younger son, but no, they're for my older son. I thought this style was more like my younger son liked, but he asked and he said that the other one liked it too. So, these are nice. I thought they were really nice, y'all. 70 bucks? Y'all, I don't... <laughs> I couldn't do that. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. And then these... These seem really nice. I I don't know. These just seem really high end. It says $12.99. And it actually said, oh, there it is. I was like, uh, it says MSRP 36. So I would never pay 36, I don't think, for a pair of shorts. But I, don't, I cannot explain the material, y'all. It just feels like really thick. Um, it is stretchy, like kind of that lycra stretchy or spandex. I don't know has zipper pocket zipper pocket over here and then a regular pocket here he found those and he really liked them and I I, I really like them too if I would have saw them I would have gotten them and then I have a pair of workout pants I was so excited when I found these because I love them like I love the way the material feels they have side pockets which I'm always looking for and usually these are the really expensive ones that have side pockets. But I did find two pair, just throwing it out there, at Family Dollar years back. And I really like them and I still wear them. So you can find them every once in a while. They were probably like about 15 or 20 maybe. Uh, not probably 20, probably less than 20. Um, but these say... $68 is the regular price on these. $68. And they were $11.99. So the story is, I told y'all there's always a story. The story is I found them and I really wanted them for myself and I came home and tried them on and they are, I didn't try them on in the store. We were hurrying. They like fit me technically right now but they're a little bit big and I'm trying to lose some weight right now. I've been counting my macros. So I don't think I would even, <coughs> excuse me, be able to wear them that long. So I'm going to give them as a gift because I don't need them, need them, and they don't fit me, but I love these. So I am probably going to go back and see if I can find some more. Um, they are Nicole Miller Sport, and I can't explain it, y'all. I love the way the material feels. They are capris. They are amazing amazing I really like them but they're gonna go as a gift for someone else who will be able to get more use out of them than me <laughs> so okay y'all we made it through <laughs> we're still under an hour <laughs> um thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments did you like this longer video do you like shorter videos um let me know if you saw something you liked saw something you're like girl you're crazy why did you buy that um let me know y'all get the conversation going i really want to just see um how my subscribers like this content if you like it if you don't like it like i said i've been saving this stuff just for y'all <laughs> like for a really long time okay a really long time and i just wanted to share it with y'all because like i said i like watching hauls so obviously other people like watching hauls because hauls are big right now and I don't know what it is that we like to see what other people bought, but if I like it, I think you like it too if you're watching. So let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, leave me a snowflake. Y'all, these are my Dollar Tree made homemade <laughs> snowflake earrings. Um, you can watch my Dollar Tree haul to see them. I just put them on a little loop and that's it, y'all. That's it. I think they're so cute. But thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for watching and you have a beautifully blessed day.